Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to discuss how to fix the type of file system is raw. Check disk is not available for raw drives error. People usually encounter this error while trying to diagnose or repair a damaged hard drive. If you're stuck in a similar situation, make sure to watch this video right to the end as we'll discuss some of the most effective solutions to troubleshoot the error and run the check disk command without any interruption. Before that, make sure to click that subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any future updates from our channel. To understand how to fix this error, it's important to know what it means. Let's see what this error means first. In general, the error occurs when you try to run the check disk command on a drive that is a raw file system. For those who don't know what check disk is, it's a Windows utility that's designed to help users fix different hard drive related errors. For instance, if you are unable to access the content on your hard drive, you can use the check disk command to diagnose the health of the drive and then fix any software related issues related to it. However, when you try to run check disk on a raw hard drive, you'll see the check disk is not available for raw drives error message on your screen. This usually happens because Windows is unable to recognize the raw file system. So what causes the file system on a hard drive to become raw? To be honest, there are several factors that can lead you into this situation. However, two of the most common reasons behind why hard drives become raw include the file system on the hard drive is either missing or damaged, or you haven't specifically specified a file format while formatting the hard drive. Now that you know what are the causes of the check disk is not available for raw drives error, let's start with the solutions to fix it. The first method to troubleshoot the error is to use Windows error checking tool. Let's see how it works. So this method, you can easily format the hard drive and regain its access without any hassle. However, it's worth noting that if you use the error checking tool, you lose the entire data on the hard drive. So only use this method if your hard drive doesn't have any valuable files. Let's quickly take a look at how to use the error checking tool in Windows. Open up File Explorer, go to this PC and right click the hard drive that you want to fix. Click on properties and switch to the tools tab. Tap the check button and you'll see a pop-up message on your screen reminding you to format the hard drive. Simply click yes and let the system automatically format the hard drive. Once the formatting process completes, you'll be able to access the hard drive with no issues. Besides this method, when it comes to fixing a raw hard drive, many people also recommend using the convert command in the command prompt. This command is designed to help users convert the file format of a hard drive to different file formats such as NTFS or FAT32. The best part with this method is that it doesn't format the hard drive to convert the file format system. However, there is no guarantee that this command will work 100%. It may or may not work, but it's worth giving it a go. So let's see how to do this. Launch the command prompt under administrator and then enter in the following command. Please be aware that here where I've typed in G, this is the hard disk that needs to be converted. Replace the letter G with the disk drive letter that you wish to convert. Now this command will either work or not. If it works, then congratulations. But if it doesn't, then it will display a message that you'll see in the above screenshot. So what's the other way to fix the check disk isn't available for raw drives error? Well, since convert didn't work, the only possible solution solution is to format the drive and manually change it to an NTFS or FAT32 format. Before converting raw to NTFS or FAT32 by formatting the hard drive, it would be a good idea to recover all of your files from your hard drive so that you don't have to deal with any valuable data loss. To do this, you can use a professional data recovery tool such as Recover It Data Recovery. It's a dedicated recovery tool that's designed to retrieve files from different types of storage devices. Even if your hard drive is inaccessible, you can use Recover It to recover all of your data and store it in a safe location. 
So let's quickly check out how to retrieve data from your raw hard drive and change its file format to NTFS or FAT32. First of all, install Wondershare Recovery on your PC and launch the software to initialize the data recovery process. Now, select the location of the hard drive that you want to recover files from and click on Next. Recover it will start scanning the selected hard drive for all the files. This process will usually take a few minutes depending on the size of your hard drive, but be patient as the bigger the hard drive, the longer this process will take. After the scanning process completes, select the files that you want to retrieve and click recover. You can also tap the preview button if you want to check the preview of each file before recovering it. Now that you have recovered your files, you can proceed with converting the raw file format to NTFS or FAT32 by formatting. Open the disk management tool and right click the raw partition. Click format and use the drop down menu to select the file format. Finally, click OK to initialize the format and wait a few seconds. Once the formatting completes, you'll be able to access your hard drive and run the check disk command without encountering any unexpected errors. So that's a wrap on today's video on how to fix the file system is raw, check disk is not available for raw devices error. If you also encounter this error, don't panic. Just simply follow these methods as we've discussed in this video and you'll be able to fix the raw hard drive easily. If you found this video helpful, then don't don't forget to leave us a like and comment down below. If you want to see more content from our channel, then be sure to click that subscribe button and press that notification bell so you get notified of any future videos. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.